Hi, in this video we're going to show you the updated way to add a custom background image to your Google homepage. So of course Google likes to change things, so they change the way this is done. It's not a whole lot different, but it is different. So normally you'd click on Customize Chrome, but some people don't have this button for some reason. But if you do have it, you click on Customize Chrome, and then there's a Customize Chrome section here, and there's a drop down with some other options. So if you don't have the button, you could click on the side panel icon here, and take you to the same place, and you have your options as well. So now to add a picture, you need to click on Change Theme, and then there's an option for Upload an Image. So if I pick this picture, for example, that's my background. And then if you scroll down, you have option here to uh, reset to default Chrome, and then you could remove the shortcuts and cards that show up down here. If you don't want those, we have a video on that as well. But depending on when you're watching this video, there is a catch. So if I open a new tab, watch what happens. See, the background's gone, and even the Google logo is grayed out. And if I close Chrome completely, I still get the same thing. So I'm not sure why that is, but depending on when you're watching this, it may or may not still be a problem. But you'll have your button down here. You could either go back and re-add your image or go back to the default Chrome if that's going to be a problem. Like that. And now when I open a new tab, things are back to normal. And just keep in mind, too, when this does start working, um, you're going to have to just make sure you're logged in with the profile that you want to have the image applied to if you have multiple profiles. So I'll log in as a different user here. And now I'll go do the same thing. You can see this user doesn't have the customized Chrome button. Okay, and then watch what happens if I log back into the account that was working. See, there's no customized button as well. It seems to disappear. But if I close Chrome and reopen it, now it's there. So let's see what happens. I never thought of this before. Let's go back into this user that didn't have the button here. And now that this user's logged in, let's close and reopen. Oops, so it goes back to this user. Try a new tab with this user. So let me sign out this user here. Okay, let's close it again. All right, now we have a customized Chrome button, but this user is paused. So let's try to add an image now. Now let's open a new tab with it paused. Nope, still doesn't work that way. Okay, let's sign them in again. Okay, still no customized button. Let's close and reopen. All right, so now we have the customized button back, but our picture is gone. Okay, so now let's try making a new profile for that user that didn't work here. So let's, let's try this out one more time here. Sign in this user that didn't work. Okay, still no customized button. Close and reopen. Nope, sign that user back out. So now let's make a new profile. Okay, let's turn on the sink. Okay, so now this user account has a customized Chrome button, so let's see what happens when they try to add a picture. Let's try a different one here. Okay, let's open a new tab. See, we have the same problem here. If we close and open, your account here. At least now we have the customize button and customize Chrome from here as well. All right, so as you can see, to get the customize Chrome button, you might have to have a profile set up for that user if you have more than one profile and you're using the main profile. So just keep that in mind if you're missing the button. But it seems like even if you add a second profile for a different user, you're still not going to be able to keep your background image so hopefully uh, Google gets their act together 
and figures this out, or maybe by the time you're watching this video, it will be working, and, and at least now you'll know how to add a custom image to your Google background. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <music> you.